Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here, back with another awesome Star Wars RC from Air Hogs. This time it is the X-Wing versus Death Star. Uh, this is the Death Star here, which is, if you remember a while back, they had the um, the Air Hogs atmosphere, and it was kind of an it, it like bounced off your hand and just held its hover. This is essentially the same thing. I think it's a little bit bigger now, um, but you can see in there it's it's basically a coaxial helicopter inside and it just hovers on its own and it uses a bunch of infrared sensors uh, to hold its height and then if you put your hand under it it'll go up and whatnot uh, so this just kind of autonomously flies around basically in place and then the x-wing is a little micro quadcopter and this thing is just so cool to have a little quad x-wing and they, they can laser fight, actually. So you fly the X-Wing, and you can pull the trigger and shoot um, infrared uh, sensors. Yeah, here, I think is, there it looks like that's your infrared. So you don't actually see a laser, but it does, you know, shoot an infrared beam at the Death Star. And the Death Star also has them, I think, kind of all around it here. It's got a bunch of uh, different sensors in it. And it shoots back, so you kind of battle each other, and then whichever gets hit three times first falls. And so here on the transmitter, you've got kind of like this heads-up display, which is kind of interesting, because it actually just, the LEDs light up down here on the top, but then it reflects off of this glass, or, you know, reflective plastic screen. So you can see indicator of, you know, how many hits you've taken, and then when you're the quad, if you get hit, it kind of shakes in the air a little bit to let you know you've been hit. And then if you get hit three times, it just kind of slowly powers down and falls. Um, I don't think the Death Star does anything to indicate that it's been hit. Uh, but when you do hit it three times, I think maybe you know it lights up red or something when it gets hit one time. But when you hit it three times, it falls and lands on the ground. And then you've got to turn it off and turn it back on to restart it. Um, but being that this is, you know, this is using the infrared height sensor, you want to start this first, and then, um, yeah, I think it's this left bumper here. Actually, let me check my notes. Yeah. So you hit this left bumper on the transmitter, and that's going to start the propellers in the Death Star, and it kind of takes a second as it gets its height, and it kind of goes up and down and gets a feel for it, and then it'll eventually stable out and pretty much hover i mean it can drift around especially if you've got some air current in your house um, but once it kind of starts hovering then you're going to start flying the x-wing like normal and this is you know standard four channel controls so you've got throttle on the left and then left and right yaw so that turns left and right and then the right stick is all your different pitches so you got pitch forward and back and roll left and right and then you've got trim buttons for all those controls and then um, on the right trigger here is how you shoot. And it does have sound here that you can turn on or off. So when you shoot, it makes authentic Star Wars uh, shooting sounds. And I think it also has some other sounds like when you crash or get hit and stuff like that. Um, we do have, as usual, the little charging cable hook here built into the right grip there. And it also does have the USB pass-through. So you plug your charging cable into the quad, which, where is it? Here on the top back there, you plug it in right there. And then you can either charge right off the transmitter using your batteries if you're like on the go or whatever, or it does come with actually two USB cables. So if you plug the USB cable into the transmitter and then into a power source, it's gonna use the USB power and not use your batteries. So that's a good thing to do if you have access to USB. And then, the Death Star only has uh, USB charging. If I can get that to focus in. There we go. Uh, so you do not have the option of charging this off of the transmitter. You have to use the USB cable for that. So a little bit strange there. Uh, but they do give you the two USB cables. Um, and it also comes with a, a spare set of props for the quad. So that's nice. Uh, let's see, let me look through my notes, see what else there was to say. Um, there's no rate, so you just have the one control rate for the X-Wing. Uh, the yaw rate's decent, it's not super fast, 
and it, it actually flies pretty well. It's not, you know, super sporty, but it's stable and smooth and it reacts well. It's not overly heavy for its size. It actually is a pretty decent weight, so it, it flies pretty nice. Uh, I would have liked, again, like I said with the speeder bike, I would have liked to see them use pl uh, clear plastic props and maybe even clear uh, prop guards just because then it would kind of help those disappear a little bit more and you look a little bit more like it's just the X-Wing flying in the air, but that's not really that big of a deal. Um, looking at the prop guards, it doesn't look like they can come off. I think they're they're part of this whole framing system here. So it doesn't look like you can, you can remove those back prop guards, but I mean, they're, they're pretty thin plastics. So, I mean, as you can see, they kind of they, they disappear pretty easily. You don't actually see them that well as it, when it's flying around. Uh, let me go ahead and turn it on because we do have red LEDs in the back of the motor pods there, so that's pretty cool. It kind of looks like it's got the thrusters going. I'll go ahead and turn that back off. Uh, let's see. This does have um, you know gyro and accelerometer, so it's really nice and stable. It holds a good hover and self rights and everything, so actually a pretty good flyer for what it is. Uh, it has a 340 milliamp hour internal LiPo battery uh, that takes about an hour to charge either off the transmitter batteries or through the USB power source. They both charge at the same speed. Um, the Death Star has a 200 milliamp hour internal LiPo and that takes about 40 minutes to charge. Uh, the X-Wing, you're going to get about a 4 minute and 45 second long flight with a 45 second LVC warning. Uh, so these red lights in the back here will start blinking when your battery is about to die. And so it'll do that for 45 seconds before it powers down. Uh, so all, all said and done, you get about 5.5 minute long flights with the X-Wing. And you get about 5 minutes and 15 second long flights with the Death Star. So they will fly about the same length of time. Uh, so you can, you know, fight the whole time and they'll both die around the same time. Um, the de you know, like I said, the Death Star, since it is just kind of autonomous, it doesn't have any sort of side sensing. It only senses below for its hover. So it can kind of drift around and sometimes it'll hit into the wall and kind of get stuck like flying into the wall and just kind of suction onto the wall. So you've got to stop it and restart it. Uh, so it really works best if you've got a big open room and you can kind of start this in the center of the room and give it some room to drift around and try not to have air currents like fans or your air conditioning or anything going because uh, any moving air in the room is going to make this want to move around as well. So the bigger open air you've got, the better. Um, let's see, any other notes on this one? Checking my notes, checking my notes. Um, nope, that looks like that covers it. So yeah, go ahead and uh, take it for a flight in the kitchen. I'll see if I can get this to hover decently enough in my small kitchen, and then we'll go ahead and do some battling with them. So let's go check that out. All right, this is the flight review of the awesome Star Wars X-Wing versus Death Star from Air Hogs. Got this cool little micro quadcopter X-Wing, and then the autonomous Death Star. I'm going to start out by just flying the quad around, show you how that flies, and then we'll do a little laser tag with the Death Star. Uh, so, not much to it. There's no rates or flips or anything, so that's our yaw rate there. It's a decent yaw rate. Not too slow. And this actually flies pretty nice. Whoa! A little bounce off the washer there. Um, yeah, I mean, for what it is, it's it's actually a pretty decent flyer. You know, it's obviously a little bit heavy because of all the body on it and everything, but it actually flies quite well. Not a lot of pitch to it. There's full pitch left and right. I mean, it's mostly made for this laser tag game, not, you know, fast flying around or anything. But looks, looks so cool. Man. Oh, bent up the uh, prop guard there. Look at that. It, like, wrapped around the prop. That was interesting. Alright, so now let's 
Make sure that's still going. Let's get the Death Star going, which you're supposed to let it go for a second and kind of find its height. Um, so hopefully I can get it to stay fairly centered in the room, and then I'll take off the quad and shoot by pressing the right trigger. Kind of makes a, a interesting little sound. All right, so I hit the left bumper for the Death Star to take off. And so I'll kind of let that work itself out until it finds its hover spot. Come on, stay in the center of the room for me. And it does shoot at the X-Wing as well, so I can shoot it or it can shoot me. I'm going to try to get it out towards the center of the room a little bit more. Alright. And if I get shot, oh, there was one shot on the Death Star I got. Another shot on the Death Star. If it shoots me, the X-Wing will kind of wobble around a bit. I'm going to let and kind of waiting and letting it try to shoot me for once. It's no hits yet. Oh, it's kind of going crazy on me. Let me go ahead and take it out. Oh, yeah, see, I can get stuck on the wall sometimes like that. There, I shot it again. Let's go ahead and take the X-Wing in for a landing now. Oh, let's just land it on the floor. I'm trying to save my battery by not doing too much extra flying around. Yeah, I don't know, the, X the, the Death Star didn't shoot me at all, but if the X-Wing gets hit, it kind of wobbles a little bit, and then I'll, I'll show up on the, LE, or on the little heads-up display here that I've taken a hit, and if it gets three hits, it'll you know lose power and, and slowly land. And then same with the Death Star, which I did there when it was stuck against the wall, I hit it and it just powers down. Uh, I think, yeah, I think actually once you shoot it, you've got to restart the Death Star. So I've got to turn it off and back on. Now that switch is a little bit awkward to reach in there. There we go. Let's go ahead and start this back up on the landing pad. So yeah, I wanted the Death Star to shoot me, but it didn't seem to land any hits on me. I'll try to let it hit me this time again. But yeah, it doesn't, the Death Star doesn't stay perfectly centered in the room, so obviously the bigger room you've got, the better, because it will end up getting stuck against the wall and stuff. Oh, I just hit it with my prop wash and knocked it out of place. Try to get it back out in the center again. Come down, why are you way up there? I shot it to knock it down a little bit. Trying to let it hit me. There it goes. See the X-Wing just wobbled and now I've got one little orange light on my heads up display which probably can't really get to show up on the camera but try to let it hit me some more. There it hit me again. See the wobble? So now one more hit and it should take me out. There I hit it so it fell down and got off the ceiling. So I'm going to try to let it hit me one more time. Oh. I'm not sure if I accidentally shot it or maybe the lights in here messed with it, but it, it acted like it just got killed. So I still have two shots on me, so I'll try to get it going again so I get that third shot and show what happens uh, when the quad gets hit and for the last time. So go ahead and get that going again. Oh, just reset the 
the X-Wing. I guess it knew that I restarted the Death Star, so it, I no longer have two hits. Well, let's see if I can get it. Whoa, I ran into it. Let's see if I can get it to shoot me three times. Come on, hit me. There's one hit on me. Come on, don't get stuck against the wall. Oh man. It likes to get stuck against the wall like that. There, I shot it to knock it out of place. Let's see if it recovers. Oh, not bad on the recovery. Man, this is kind of chaos trying to fly two things. Hopefully I'm getting most of it on camera here. Come on. Shoot me. There's another hit. Okay, so I've got two hits on me now. I just need one more and it should knock me out of the sky. Oh, I think the Death Star is running out of battery. Come on, one more hit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it got in my prop wash and I knocked it all out of place. Oh, man. Get out. Get out there. I'm almost out of batteries, I think, but I need one more hit on the X-Wing and it should kill me. Oh, I think the Death Star is dying. Yeah, uh, Death Star ran out of battery on me. Yeah. Oh, looks like it didn't get the three shots on me before it ran out of battery. I think it's... Yeah, it's dead. Well, I think that was a, a pretty decent battle, though. I think I showed all there was to show. It just didn't ever actually get the three shots on me. Seems like the the Death Star's aim is not so great. But yeah, that's a pretty fun game. And then if you have the uh, TIE Fighter quad, the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter can fight like that with each other. So you could have two pilots fighting each other. So pretty cool, pretty fun little game. And you know, if you had a, a bigger room, whoa. Um, if you had a bigger room, the Death Star is obviously gonna work better. I mean, this little room, it ends up bouncing off of stuff. Oh, Elsie's coming to say hi. So yeah, very fun, and that X-Wing quad is just so cool. Absolutely love it. Alright, we'll check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.